Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your November 2019. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Gemini. Gemini, you can now find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111. And I will leave those links down below in the description box. All right, Gemini, this is for you. We are going to see how this person is feeling about you, Gemini, and if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Gemini. How do they feel about Gemini for November 2019? How do they feel about Gemini? Wow. Okay. So they're seeing you as a soulmate, and I haven't seen this card very often during these readings so far. So... I think you may be the only one that has received this so far, Gemini. So this person sees you as their soulmate. They have strong soul ties to you and we have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So there may have been a little hiccup between you and this person, okay? Um, or, you know, they may have they may have some trust issues or see you as having some trust issues here, Gemini. So let's see where this is going. This is going to be a process, right? So they, they've, they still have hope and faith in this situation with you. So let's see what is going on here. This is for Gemini for November 2019. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? If this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So, however it resonates with you, this is for Gemini. For November 2019, how do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? Okay. All this major arcana. Okay, so I feel like the hiccup, there was an ending here. All right, there was an ending here and they still have faith in the situation. Gemini, <clears throat> they still want you, right? They still are wishing and hoping for you. This card has been popping out. This Nine of Cups has been popping out in these readings. Everybody's still wishing and they still got faith in the situation with you, right? Nine of Cups, this is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This person, and I'm going to say this, they may be crying in their beer over you. Right? You know, there's a tear in my beer. Remember that song? So this card, you know, could represent somebody that's drinking a little bit too much. They didn't want things to end here, Gemini. And they want to talk to you. Okay, so yeah, there, there was an ending here. Like I said before, there was a situation where um, there was a hiccup in this process. There was a... There was a a stop to the action here but they still feel this connection to you they still feel these strong soul ties to you gemini and they still want you so before i go any further i'm going to say this if the sign of the person that you are dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future if their sign pops up gemini all the better keep in mind time is fluid so you could be dealing with a situation like this right now you could be dealing with a situation like this in the future. Some of you may have already dealt with a situation like this. Keep in mind, and the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So still keeping the dream alive, so to speak. They still have hope and faith. This is someone from your past. These are two very strong soulmate cards. This is how they're feeling. They think about you in a positive way, in a kind way, in a sweet way. And they want to come back to you, Gemini. This person wants to come back to you. They want to return to you. We are in a Mercury retrograde. God knows I have been experiencing it 
for the past two days. It's been a doozy. So yes, this person does want to come back to you. Um, six of cups, it's more water energy here. They need some clarity and they've got a whole lot of things to say. I feel like this person has realized a lot. Um, definitely, you could have some trust issues here with this person. So they, they want to maybe come clean about a few things and, and start off the right way, honestly, right? Ace of Swords, this is a, a, a truthful new beginning and they do want a victory here with you, air energy here. So with this card, I sometimes I always see this as they're going to, they're gonna reach out very slowly like a simple message or a, a simple phone call like hey how you doing um, or, or stop by and do some sort of menial task it's going to be like something just ordinary you know it's it's not going to look like much on the surface but behind that it's all of this it's all of this wishing and hoping and wanting to return and wanting to really get into a serious discussion here about a whole lot of things, Gemini. So there's a whole lot behind this simple message. What they're doing here with this page of pentacles is they are testing the waters with you, right? They're testing the waters. They're seeing how you're going to respond to them, okay? Because I feel like you probably have blocked this person or the, uh, the communication is very minimal. So they're, they're going to seize on some sort of small opportunity here to kind of wiggle back in there and, and test the waters with this page of pentacles. That's earth. They feel like you, um, you're controlling the situation. This is all going to be up to you, right? The emperor. So you are in charge here, Gemini, right? You are most definitely in charge of this situation whether you want it to stay an ending, whether they you answer the phone when they call, you return a text when they message, you allow a conversation to be had between the two of you. This is all going to be up to you. You are most definitely in your power in this situation, and they know that. You are in control of this. We have the Emperor here, Aries energy, right? Um, you could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with strong Aries in their chart. And we have Scorpio, right? Same thing. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio energy in their chart. There was an ending here. This person may come back and tell you that, you know, they have changed. They have transformed. They definitely want a new beginning. They definitely want the sun to shine again. If there's obstacles here, they're clearing those out of the way. They're figuring things out. And maybe they have changed for the better. They can't get you off their mind that's for sure with that six of cups and they definitely want to talk to you so i feel like definitely communication is coming right i do believe it is sincere with this page of pentacles and passionate with this page of wands so this is fire energy this is earth if i didn't say that before um what's behind this they're going to take a risk they're going to take a risk and they're going to reach out to you and see what happens here so i think you know they still have passion for you um most definitely they they may call you know i feel like it's going to start off very slowly here but sincere but it's not going to you're not going to think much of it it's just going to be like why are Right? Why are they asking me how I'm doing? I haven't talked to them in two months. You know, that's just an example. But then they're going to try to get a little bit more heated, right? So Page of Wands, a little bit more passionate, so to speak. That's fire energy right there. So um, Page of Wands, that's good news. So they, they definitely want good news from you. And they, they definitely want you to talk to them. They've got a lot to say. Lots of cards for communication and messages here for you. Okay. So let's see what else we've got here for you, Gemini. For November 2019, how do they feel about Gemini? And what other actions will they take? What other actions will they take towards Gemini? Yeah, there you are. See, you are hard as a rock here you walked away from them 
they want to reunite. Um, this person still very much cares about you. Male or female absolutely does not matter. This is water energy. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart. As an energy, this person is getting ready to confess some things, I feel. They're getting ready to open up their heart to you, right? Their, their instinct, their intuition is guided towards you because they feel such strong soul ties to you, Gemini. So I feel like they're getting ready to offer you their heart and they really want you to kind of soften right the queen of cups is a very soft energy very emotional energy and they do want you to open up emotionally to them because they've got so much communication cards here messages and especially this they really want to know some things they really want to tell you some things gemini so they want you to follow your heart as well all right so that is the energy of the King of Cups. Now, with this King of Swords landing underneath the Emperor, this person, like I said, you may have cut this person off. This person is cold as ice. This is how they're seeing you. You are in control of this situation and you are going to be able to direct how this is going to go. If the two of you get back together, if you even speak to this individual, you are in control of this and they know that this is going to be a challenge. These are two very challenging cards, okay? And they feel you are embracing both of these energies. King of Swords, that's you, that's air. Um, this is somebody that thinks with their head and not their heart. They feel like you have detached emotionally from them. So they want you to go from this hardened King of Swords energy to this more softer queen of cups energy. Do you see what I'm saying there? They want you, they want some emotion from you. They want to know how you feel and, and they want to talk. They want to talk to you. Um, king of swords, it's a hardcore energy, strong poker face, right? You're not, you're not playing. You're not letting them see you sweat, Gemini, and they know that. There's a lot going on behind this, this energy right here, a lot. Um, and they want to try to bring that emotion to the surface, okay? Because I do feel there's a lot of emotion um, behind these cards here. But this is a very hardcore controlling energy here with these cards combined. And they know that. And it's challenging. And they are up for the challenge, okay? So yes, there was an ending here with the death card and then this below it. So you did walk away from a situation from them. And I feel like you were just done and drained. You, you were drained. Eight of Cups, right? So you walked away. And they did not want this ending. And they did not want you to walk away here, Gemini. So they're going to be reaching out to you, okay? And they've got some sort of a plan brewing on how they're going to go about this. And they're wanting to reunite with you with that Three of Cups, okay? So you are most definitely going to be hearing from this individual. This is water energy here. They want to reunite. They want to celebrate. They want to spend time with you, Gemini. All right, so that is what's going on here. Lots and lots of communication. They definitely want to talk about what happened, their role in it. They may want to confess a few things to you. They want to come clean and they want to start fresh. And they want you to soften towards them. Why? Because they still have faith in the situation with you. And they still feel the soul ties to you. They still feel soul ties to you, Gemini. Okay? Like I said, I think you're the only one that got that soulmate card. So, um, that's what's going on here, Gemini. Um, I hope this resonates with you. And I hope you have enjoyed your reading. But that is your How Do They Feel About You reading for November 2019 and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at secretaro 1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. I do also have a schedule, a weekly schedule and a live schedule. You can find all that information down below in the description box and in my about section of my channel. The weekly schedule will let you see um, when your weekly reading will be released, what day, and I usually stick to it fairly well. Um, the live schedule, 
It just says I basically go live every day um, around noon Eastern Standard Time, except for Saturday, right? That's basically my day off. <laughs> I got to take a day off somewhere. All right, Gemini. Um, next week, we will be working on the November 2019 mid-month reading, so check all of that out. I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and I would definitely be, with all these communication cards here, Gemini, I would definitely be expecting this person to be reaching out to you, and there's a whole lot that um, they want to say, a whole lot, okay? So, strong pull towards you, Gemini, right? Strong pull towards you. All right, Gemini, I hope you have a beautiful evening and a fantastic week, and I will talk to you soon. You all take very good care of yourself, and God bless. <laughs>